Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these fabulous balloon roses. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. For each rose, I'm using the Reflex 260s. So these are Sempertex. I've got a green and I've got this lovely red. So I'm just going to stretch these a little bit. I pinch hold of the tip and I run my fingers along the balloon okay and that's just going to give me a little bit of extra length so i do that with both of them okay and then inflate i'm inflating with the qualitex hand pump so this red balloon i'm going to inflate with six strokes of the hand pump and when i count the strokes that's one stroke so one two three four I know sometimes people count the strokes differently, but that's how I do it. Okay, so we want six strokes for the red. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then straight off the hand pump, because otherwise, if you leave the balloon on the hand pump, it will start to deflate because you will lose air through the pump and it will come out through the end here. Okay, so I just want to soften this balloon a little bit. So I'm just going to let a little bit of air out just so it doesn't bulge here and then tie. Okay, so I've got a nice long tail there. And then inflate the green. This is with nine strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. So we're going to inflate right to the tip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and the balloon has disappeared way over to the other side of the studio. Okay, so we're fully inflated, but I do want to soften this a little bit. So I'm just going to let a little bit of air out and then tie. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is make some loops. So just as you would if you were making daisy flowers, just bend that balloon over. I've got hold of that knot and nozzle and I'm making loops of about four fingers. So just make a twist and then pass the knot and nozzle through, okay? Give your balloon a little squeeze, make another loop, measure to make sure it's the same size, give that a twist, I like to eyeball it, it's just a fraction bigger. I've only put one twist in, so I'm just going to adjust, undo it, look again, make it smaller, check again, and then I twist some more. And then I take hold of the knot and nozzle and wrap it around. So that's just going to secure that second loop and then another loop to match those. Again, one twist, let's have a look. Yes, it's close enough. Make a few more twists and then wrap those loops around one another. So you've got your stem for your rose flower. It would mean so much to me if at this point you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. I publish new videos every week on different aspects of balloon art. I've got lots of twisting videos. Liking my video will really help my channel grow and will encourage me to make lots more videos. Thank you so much. Take hold of that knot and nozzle and wrap that into the base of the, um, the loops there. So the thing about the uh, chrome finishes or the reflex finishes, they are a little bit stiffer to work with. So if you're brand new to balloon twisting, then you might want to try a, a balloon with a different finish. So I would recommend you start with the fashion colors. So the standard reds, the standard uh, lime green, that sort of thing. If you're new to twisting, I would avoid the chromes, the reflexes, the metallic finishes, the pearl finishes, because they just are that little bit stiffer to work with and um, trickier if you're just starting out. Okie dokie. So twist a bubble that is about between three and four, three and four inches long. So that's probably closer to three, maybe a little bit over three inches. So twist and then twist a small bubble of about an inch. We're going to pinch twist this, so just bend those over. And to pinch twist, you're going to pull this bubble upwards and twist it round. It sounds a little bit brutal if you've not done it before, but we do it a lot in twisting. So, so just pull that bubble upwards and twist around. It's a really important technique to master, but it's probably one of the hardest things that you will learn to do. So 
Give your balloon a little squeeze, that's just to keep it soft and to send the air towards the end of the balloon. And again, another bubble to match this one. So fold that over and again, pull that bubble upwards, twist around, okay? And so you've got two little pinch twists at the top, give everything the squeeze. And we want to make another bubble to match this one. So just um, place your red balloon along the side of this first bubble and then just pull it into the base. You don't really even need to twist. You can just pull it into the base. Give everything the squeeze just to keep it soft. Okay. And place your balloon along the top here. And again, just pull the 260 and wrap it into those pinch twists there back down, do the same thing. So we're just gonna pull that into the cluster of loops. Okay, at this point I'm going to give everything a bit of a squeeze and a stretch because I want this to be nice and soft. For this next bit, you're going to pull the balloon up and around those pinch twists, back down. And again, just wrap the red balloon into those green loops and wrap around a couple of times. Okay. And then we can just snip off the end. And you can wrap the excess around. And if it makes you feel happier, you can also tie a knot. It just depends on how you feel. And you can just wrap that around and it should be fine. But if you're at the stage where you prefer to tie a knot, I completely understand. I like to grab hold of these pinch twists and grab hold of the bit of 260 here, these two, this loop, and just push the pin, pull the pinch twists up a little bit as I massage the balloon here, okay? And that just gives it a little bit of shaping. I've made a couple more roses for my bouquet. Next, I'm inflating a red Reflex 260. I think that was eight strokes. Just let a little bit of air out. So I've got a long tail of about four fingers. Let a little bit of air out to soften and tie. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna stretch that a little bit again and soften it. I like to make a bubble of a couple of fingers and then just wrap the 260 around the stems. You want to just encircle the stems and then wrap that little bubble into the rest of the 260. Again, keep everything nice and soft and then I'm going to go back round and wrap in to the bubble around and let's see can I go around one more time possibly just going to stretch this wrap around and back into that bubble I'm going to push the bubble underneath and hide that in the back and then this, I'm just going to pull upwards to hide the seam here and bring it back down. Wrap it around, whoops, that little bubble. Bring it back up, wrap it around some more. And then I'm going to push that bubble back underneath. So we can just arrange our bouquet. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one next.